Who would have known that a kid raised in a war-ridden country would turn out to be a tennis god? While the tennis world is divided between Rafa and Federer, the greatness of Novak Djokovic doesn't go unnoticed for long. With his 22nd Grand Slam win over Stefanos Tsitsipas, Djokovic has once again written his name all over the GOAT debate. His technique is so relentless that he seems to be getting better with age, much like fine wine. With the tennis world's never-ending affair with Rafa and Federer, Djokovic has yet again proved that he is the greatest of all time. In this video, we're unleashing the truth why Novak Djokovic is undeniably the GOAT. After winning the Australian Open for the record 10th time, Novak Djokovic has redefined the course of history. He is once again at the top of the ATP ranking, which is his seventh trip there. But before we step in, we gotta take you back to where it all started. Just a few years back, the tennis world had Nadal and Federer as the two greats, and for good reason, too. The two superstars were at the peak of their powers before Djokovic came and spoiled the party. Federer won his first Grand Slam in 2003 and his last in 2018 spanning over 15 years to win those 20 slams. But Federer had to go through a slump between 2012 and 2016, failing to win any slams. Then comes Rafa, who won his first slam in 2005 and the most recent in 2022. And over 17 years, he has won 22 Grand Slam titles, but he too had to go through a slump between 2014 and 2016, where he failed to win any slam titles. And then came Novak Djokovic, winning his first slam in 2008, and his most recent landmark is the Australian Open in 2023. The interesting part is, where Federer and Nadal failed to win any slams, that's where Djokovic took over. It was then that the world stage witnessed the making of a champion. Djokovic now has 22 Grand Slam titles, which ties him with Rafa, but it seems like Djokovic has a lot more in his tank to increase the tally in the future as compared to Rafa. With Federer already retired and Nadal nearing the end of his career as well, the road seems to be wide open for some years of clear dominance. We're living in an age where an athlete doesn't have to do much to be labeled by some fans as the GOAT. Alcaraz comes up with a strong backhand across the court, GOAT! Nick Kyrgios buys his girlfriend an expensive gift, the GOAT! or some new teenage sensation showing off some tennis skills, that one too will be labeled as the undisputed GOAT. But when it comes to Novak Djokovic, he lets his game do the talking. After recording his 378th week as the world number one on the 27th of February 2023, Djokovic has set the all-time record for weeks spent at the top of the rankings. The GOAT debate might go on forever, but Novak Djokovic has a good reason to be crowned the greatest of all time. Speaking of records, Djokovic certainly has a lot of them. After surpassing Steffi Graf's record for the most weeks as the world's number one tennis player, Novak Djokovic is on the verge of making history again by becoming the first player to hold that number one position for 400 weeks. Now, some tennis fans might compare him to Federer or Nadal, but it's not even a competition. Roger Federer has 310 weeks as number one, while Rafael Nadal has only 209. Even when we talk about head-to-head -head clashes, Djokovic has a clear advantage over his rivals. In terms of Grand Slam titles, he is currently tied with Rafael Nadal and is two ahead of Federer. The gap, however, is likely to increase in the future. He's also edged both of them when he's met them on the court. Djokovic is 30 and 29 against Rafa and has a clear advantage of 27 to 23 against Federer. Moreover, Djokovic is the only player to defeat Rafa in straight sets in a Grand Slam final. That was in 2019 at the Australian Open. He is also the first player to defeat Nadal in straight sets at the French Open, the 2015 quarterfinal. In addition, Djokovic managed in 2021 to break Nadal's undefeated record of 13-0 in the French Open semifinals and became the only player to defeat Nadal twice at the French Open. He is also the only player who has won the French Open after defeating Rafael Nadal, which he did at the 2021 French Open. Apart from Nadal, Djokovic is also the only male player to win the French Open more than once from 2002 to 2022. Let's not forget that Djokovic has more Masters titles than any other player. He is the only player to write his name all over nine of the current Masters 1000 events. And you know what's astonishing about all that? He managed to win each of these nine titles twice. 
He definitely seems to be getting better with age. After winning the Australian Open in 2023, Novak Djokovic has now registered his 10th title after turning 30. Only Serena Williams has as many titles as him at this stat. If you've been paying attention to the details in those matches, Djokovic has shown incredible longevity and skill, and he seems to be getting fitter and hungrier than ever. But the million dollar question that needs to be addressed is, what makes his technique so relentless? And what makes him such a dominating force on the court? The GOAT debate has been about the big three for a while now, but Djokovic has a clear advantage at the top. Roger Federer has 54 big titles, including 20 Grand Slams, six ATP Finals trophies, along with 28 ATP Masters. Rafael Nadal has got 59 big titles to his name, including 22 Grand Slams, 36 ATP Masters, and one Olympic gold. After winning the Australian Open in 2023, Novak Djokovic's total number of big titles stands at an impressive 66, 22 Grand Slams, 6 ATP Finals, and 38 Masters. But things do not stop here for the Joker. With a bronze medal already in his collection from the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, he is eager to take on the challenge once more as he prepares to compete in the Paris Olympics in 2024. He has set his sights on securing the ultimate prize, the precious Olympic gold medal, adding it to his already impressive list of accomplishments. But even without an Olympic gold medal, Novak Djokovic's outstanding tally of big titles demonstrates his dominance in the world of tennis. Djokovic is probably the most complete player we've come across in a while. Forehands, backhands, down the lines, net approaches, you name it, he has it all in his bag. Gone are the days of the flexible one-handed backhands made famous by the legendary Ivan Lendl and John McEnroe. With Djokovic's powerful and penetrating two-handed backhand, the Serbian has risen to the top in the world of tennis. He holds a unique record that no other male player has ever accomplished before, winning all four Grand Slams on three different surfaces, hard, clay, and grass at the same time, from 2015 Wimbledon to the 2016 French Open. Moreover, he managed to secure his place in the history books by winning 30 consecutive Grand Slam matches spanning across three different surfaces, an achievement that still leaves his opponents in awe. Continuing his conquest of new records, the Serb is, at the beginning of the 2023 season, among the top three ATP tennis players with the highest percentage when it comes to serving, with 189 games won out of 205 which is an astonishing 92.2% win rate. Novak's ability to strategically play the game on the court has allowed him to bypass everyone, and perhaps this has allowed him to stay at the top for a long time, more than anyone. Now, there might be a question about some young blood showing great potential, but is this potential enough to challenge Novak Djokovic? Some players, like Lorenzo Musetti and Yannick Sinner, have promised much in the last few years, but their progress has been slowed down by the likes of Novak or Nadal still competing at the very top. But one young player that has been able to shine through and impress, and that is Spain's wunderkid, Carlos Alcaraz. With some commentators comparing him to Nadal, Alcaraz has promised a lot, and truth be told, we might come across some years of competitive rivalry between Djokovic and Alcaraz. So just how great is Novak Djokovic? Novak Djokovic's greatness as a tennis player cannot be denied. He has dominated the sport in ways that few or none have before him, and his success on and off the court is a testament to his hard work, dedication, and passion for the game. Whether he is competing against the best players in the world or giving back to his community through his philanthropic efforts, Djokovic has shown time and again that he is a champion in every sense of the word. Despite the challenges he faced during his early years and the consistent hate-mongering he has endured in the tennis world, he has persevered on his journey to becoming the undisputed greatest tennis player of all time. Now, while that claim may be arguable, his unmatched achievements and unwavering determination have solidified his place in history.